Give you guys a quick little shot of my makeshift workshop here. I took over my uh, wife's office here and and uh, decided to put together some cables. I um, picked up a pair of the new Nordost uh, Nordost Blue Heaven Leaf Series, the LS. You can see here, use the labeling. Blue Heaven and the other end here, Leaf Series. And uh, I decided that I was going to, uh, it was a bit long, it was a two meter run, um, but it was uh, it was a pretty good price, so I figured what I would do is I'd pick up some new trick connectors and I'd re-terminate this cable. Um, these uh, these these are these are actually fairly entry level Nutrix connectors. I kind of prefer the old Profi Nutrix that they used to use. I'm not sure why they dropped to this cheaper uh, cheaper RCA on the on the um, on the Leaf series and Red Dawn and things like that now. Um, perhaps to save money or perhaps they felt that the benefit of having that uh, adjustable sleeve just wasn't worth it. I should move the macro. Well, that's why it's not focusing. A bit better. A little bit better focus now you can see on these cables. So those are the the neutral connectors they're using there. And they actually uh, glue them shut so you can't uh, take apart the uh, connector to see uh, how their soldering is done. It's uh, interesting. Uh, I've looked at the, the Nordost work before when I've taken apart some of their other cables and uh, and, and re-terminated them. Um, the uh, soldering's pretty good. They they actually have very clean work, um, so I'm not sure why they wanted to do this. I guess they didn't want it too easily accessible. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys what the uh, Blue Heaven looks like now, the new Blue Heaven. So they got four solid silver plated copper conductors there. They got a shield foil braid, uh, yeah, foil braided, sh uh, sorry, sh copper braided shield. Um, I'm not sure if that's. Um, uh, a tinned copper, or if it's uh, or if it's a silver plated copper. It's a little dark to be silver plated. Um, it's also got a drain wire inside there. You can't you can't really see it from here, but there is a drain wire in there, um, and then some filler in between the 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 two solid core conductors there, or sorry, the four solid core conductors. You got two for the red and two for the black. So it's a simplified cable in terms of number of conductors. The old Blue Heaven had uh, quite a few. I think. Uh, uh, like 14 or 16 conductors and it was um, quite a pain to re-terminate. Now it's become quite easy to re-terminate. So I'm going to shorten this one, turn it into two pairs. So I will get uh, two pairs uh, for the price of one. Because uh, this cable is, uh, I think they're about four or five hundred bucks now. And picked one, picked one up used and uh, sliced it in half and, and now I'm going to re-terminate. I'm going to find out how they wire the drain and then how they wire the shield in it. Um, so as soon as I figure that out, I will uh, uh, terminate it exactly the same way that Nordos did in the past and maintain the same directional geometry and everything like that. So we should be all good. So yeah, I just wanted to shoot a little video, show you guys um, what's going on here with, uh, with the Nordos Blue Heaven LS.